Hi everyone, it's Tasha Dave here and I'm back for another crafty video. So, this time we're going to make another style of tabbed wallet thing. And this one is just opens up. It opens up and it's got a little journal card inside. And it, that, this just untucks from here and you can decorate this however you like. But this is just my sample one. So I know I didn't prototype in... Um, just standard card. I used Tim Holtz paper. What am I like? So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this, and we're going to do it together. So, um, and you know, if you want to make one, you you can make one. So, how do we I make it? So what I did was I needed a piece of paper, piece of card that was um, twelve inches wide and six, six inches deep. So this is this is six inches including the tabs okay so just like the previous videos like monday's video if you're not making it with a tab punch board you'll make it at um it's this is five and, a, and an eighth but like make it you make it gonna make it at five so we're gonna make this one at five so five high but your paper so this measures six and these have got the fold out doors which are both three okay so that means two threes are six, two and two sixes are twelve. So you're going to need to have it to be five. Oh, sorry, brain didn't work then. Five by, I mean, like you can have it however high you want. So five by twelve is what we're going to cut our paper out to make it the same as that. Okay. Okay. Because I'm not going to use these tabs this time. I'm going to use my tab punch so i'm going to use my trusty tab punch because not everybody has the um we are memory keepers tab punch so i'm going to use a piece of tim holt's paper here um what do i want to use i liked that one because it had two different win two different doors which i think i might use the same sort of paper again which is the the back pages of a Tim Holtz pad. So in a Tim Holtz pad, you get you get all the full size sizes at the front, and then at the back you get these where they are um, half size versions. Well, half size there, smaller versions, oh, not necessarily half. So what shall we use? Let's maybe do that one or that one. We'll use this one, I think. Me burning through this uh, Tim Holtz paper now. So now that it can't get it again, of course, I started using it. So um, we're going to cut it down to five this time because we're going to put a tab at the top. So I'm just going to take an inch off the bottom so I can lose the less interesting stuff at the bottom. And then I'm going to cut this to five that's that cool okay so then i'm going to take my scoreboard so you don't need to use a scoreboard but you just want to measure in three from one side and either score it with a scoreboard um so this is three in either score it with a scoreboard um, or score it with, you know, just bending up against a ruler or just the edge of a si some scissors. Okay, so I know I haven't made this the correct way because that's a mountain. It should become a valley, but it's not going to be. It's going to go this way because I want this on the outside, okay? So you'll find it doesn't quite meet in the middle, but that's not a problem. We don't mind that. The reason I wanted it... Well, the reason why I didn't re-engineer it so that you, it met in the middle is because I wanted people to be interested enough to say, "Oh, there's something in there," and have a look. So, but if it if it annoys your sensibilities, then you can always have it so that. Let's do it with this one. I'll show you. Let's cut this down so that we can make it the same. Let's let's make another one. Okay. So actually, if I make another one, I might as well make one with a tab punch on it. So. I think this is six anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll make it with a tab punch this one this time. 
So, if you want, if it really, really does offend you, that we could do, you go then three and one eighth. Do three and one eighth, and then you'll get a crossover that way. It won't be very much of a crossover, but it'll be crossover. So you can fold that in. You fold that in. I see this time now we get this crossover. So you either have it so that you're not worried about the the slight gap or you have it so that you don't mind a crossover so but certainly on my scoreboard because they don't go down to 16th of an inch um, so so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the very slight edge off mine so that it doesn't get have so much of a fold crossover because I don't mind the gap, but you might. So just, just demonstrating how to resolve that. So you saw my Monday's video, still not feeling very well, but then again, I wouldn't be recovered from Monday um, because it's literally five minutes later for me, whereas it's, oh no, let me see, that's not, still not, still not right. Um, Whereas to you, it's two days later. To me, it's about 20 minutes later. Get rid of those bits now. There we go. Oh, there you go. Wow, that's almost perfect, that. Not perfect, but almost. So. Let's go back to the one that I was going to make for you so that you guys can do it if you don't have one of these um, envelope, one of these tab punch boards. Okay, let's move that out of the way. So what then you do is when you open it up, you now need to find the middle of this line. Okay, so you've got this fold line. You want to find the middle of that. So we know that that is five. Is it five? It is indeed, so five inches. So half of five inches is two and a half. And then what you need to do is you need to take your scoring compass or a compass um, with a pencil on the end and you're going to go to the two and a half mark and you're going to put a little hole in there. Okay. So then what you want to do is do the same on the other side. I'm just going to put the little hole in first and then we'll come back to... No, we need that round the other way, Dave. We need the inches on the on the side nearest the score line. There you go. We've got another hole there. So we're just going to find those again. Okay. So then what I did was I decided how big an arc I wanted. So the, there's two ways to do this. You could absolutely cut some pieces of card. Okay, so let me just cut some pieces of card so I can talk, talk with an informed um, voice. So you could cut some pieces of card, you could stick them on here and you could use a glue half of it down and have it so that that's the bit that you took under. But I wanted it like that very authentic thing of feeling like you know when you get a business card and it's inside something or a gift card and it's tucked into the actual card itself and you can see it sticking out on the back that's what I wanted to create so this is how I did it anyway so I found the middle and we marked the middle yeah and I decided how big an arc I wanted my um my cut to be so this will make a very similar sort of size to this it's a little bit bigger i think i'll find the roughly the middle yeah so it's a, about an eighth of an inch bigger than that circle and then what i'm going to do is if you only if you only had a pair of scissors oh, sorry if you only had a an a pencil compass then you'd use a pencil compass and you'd mark it with your pencil um, and then cut it with a, either a blade 
taking it steady or use a pair of scissors um, however you wanted to cut it but I'm going to use this now you also then need to make sure that you don't cut right up to this line okay so what I did was I used something and I created a, a guide for myself so I created a template which I can't show you because I can't find it now oh there we go and this is what I used anyway so I used this now if you don't have a narrow ruler okay then what you could do is you could just cut yourself a piece of card a piece of card here you cut it down decide how wide you want it so this is about three quarters of, is it about three quarters of an inch I can't remember how wide this is it's a little over half an inch you could then just cut this cut a piece down to being a little over half an inch it doesn't have to be perfect you're only going to use it as a guide and then what you do is you're going to put that against that line you're going to put your your cutting compass in that hole that you've just created and you're going to start from the top edge of your guide you know, make sure you put fingers around the way and you're going to arc it round and then you're going to go all the way around until it meets the other side of your guide okay and then you're going to flip it round and you're going to do exactly the same again on the other side so like that arc it round right the way through to the other side do it again just to make sure you cut through there we go cool that's it so then that's created our little space here okay so we're just going to come back to the front so what first of all we want to do is we want to just put that score line in there make it nice and flat there we go cool okay so we've got this little um thing to open up with and we're now going to put our tabs in the top so we're going to decide what we want on the tab uh we need to find some scrap card that won't won't upset me if i use it and um I don't, one of the things i tend to do is, is I use something and then i say where's that piece of card Oh, I used it for that. Ooh, what did I use it for that for? So I could do with a bit of Tim Holtz that I've just cut off. So maybe use some of this. Okay. So I'm going to if I do it this way. Yeah, so I'm just going to fold this over. Okay, and we're going to make a tab like that. Um, and we're going to make a different tab, so should we do it the other way around? There we go. There are two different tabs, and we're just going to put that together again. Just going to ink this round. Now, I'd love to say that, you know, I wash my hands between videos but if i'm not going out anywhere you know i don't bother even if i'm walking the dog i do wash my hands after going walking the dog but i don't try and get all the inky bits off so um so i'm sorry that my hands never look like they're washed when i go to work i am scrupulously clean but when i'm crafting i like being a bit messy i feel like a bit more you know a bit more yeah you know <laughs> um artistic creative i think if i tidy up too much it kind of quells my creativity so i'm going to put this one on this side um one thing i wanted to say is i've been you know i was feeling very nostalgic the other day well i've been continuing that nostalgia i have been watching um english heritage uh there is a character called apparently who was actually a 
uh, domestic servant in the um, the big uh, stately home, um, but there's like this character they've created called Mrs. Crocom, who was actually was the head of she was the head cook, um, and I've just been loving it. They've been I mean, like I, I haven't recently discovered it. I had known of it before, but because I've been feeling nostalgic, I've been watching the Victorian makes for Christmas and food, and the character is really good, um, and just really enjoying it. So if you if that that's your kind of thing, and you want to feel a bit kind of Christmassy, then go and have a watch. So that's our um opening tabs here okay and obviously you could put your tabs in other places you could put them um either side here so you could put them so that they sit on here and actually if they did that they would kind of help keep the whole thing closed but i decided to use a tab across the front okay so we'll do that next so i literally took a piece of scrap card that i was probably going to throw out anyway so I don't know what I'm going to use. These are all bits that I've cut off from previous projects, so I'm probably going to use this because it's about the right sort of width. And I then cut it down. I cut it down to an inch wide. Cut that down. I think that was a little bit bigger than an inch that one because I want all I did was I just cut either side of the letters so the numbers okay and then I wanted it which bit do I want I want I think I want this bit okay this has got a line on it so I just cut it down to whatever I felt it was about three inches Yeah, it's a little short than three inches, but you know, it's about three inches. Um, and then I rounded the corners on them, so just rounded off all of those corners. Let's just put that in there. And do all four corners, yeah. So if you get to watch, uh, if you go and I'll try and remember to link the channel. Um, English heritage it's just wonderful I mean they're only little short five minute videos on recipes on how to make things but like it's just so I just love it, it just ticks the box for me so the box it ticks a box probably not the box I don't have a box particular box so shut up Dave <laughs> Doing yourself digging yourself into a early grave there so okay and then I'm just going to ink all of these edges oh, no, we can't do it like that do it like that so I've got no white showing across this back bit up there probably easier to before to do it before you put the tabs on but that would require th forethought and we all know that I don't have any of that so don't have any of that at the best of times when I'm not being great even less so so that's that okay I just put a tiny bit on the edge of there just so that you can see it when when you're when it's closed up you can just see where the marks are where you can see it's a bit darker okay so and then what I did was I used one of my trusty faithful wherever they are these you know these that I like to use the uh, sticky dots velcro dots so remember I always put the white bit on the bit that's less obvious let's make sure that's the right way up it is and the white and the clear bit on the piece where you'll see it more okay and then I did lined it kind of up where I wanted it make sure that it was going to fit 
and then just glued one side. And just spread that out a bit so that it wasn't just going to ooze out. Okay. Pop that down, find the middle, and glue it down. Okay, so you just want to leave it to kind of just set before you do anything else. Of course, I'm not going to. <laughs> Because now I'm going to make a little card to go inside here. So I might as well use up my scrap, Dave. So, the is it, ruler. So, this space here, okay, this will differ on, on yours. It depends on how far how far away from either side you've, you've cut, okay. So, I'm going to cut my card to being four and a half because that will fit nicely inside yeah, it'll fit nicely inside these tabs, but still be removable. You don't want it to go but right up. So you don't want to put the card so that it goes right up to here. You want it so that it sits a little bit away from the, the butt end of that, the butt stop. Um, so that you can get that it goes right up to here. You want it so that it sits a little bit away from the, the butt end of that, the butt stop. Um so that you can get the card in and out without too much trouble. So we're going to go for four and a half wide. Let's cut this bit off. So four and a half goes to there, yep. And we know it's five high, so we'll go four and a half high, I think. Uh, no, we'll go for. I can't remember what I've just cut that at. Four and, four and a half. So go for four. Okay, four high. Okay, so we'll get rid of those bits. Then that's going to sit inside there. Like that. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly decorate it. Just cut off all of the the corners. Just having one of those moments, whether I'm talking to myself now or not. That's great. I have the did press record. <laughs> To this, have a bird on it. Have a little bird on it. A little bird high up in banana tree. Oh dear, a yellow bird that is, Dave. Yellow bird. Shh, no singing. No singing. I want him, quite like him. Be far too much effort put into this, I think. Oh, I quite like him actually, because he's gr already grounded. He's n not been out for weeks. <laughs> I'm going to ink round him so you can see where he is. over the white bit so it's not too white as well. Okay, I'm going to have that on there. We're going to have a word as well. Let's go find his keepers. So let's stick him down. Oh, you know what I should have done? Got a bit of book page, you know I like a bit of book page. I think we'll have that on first. Yep, 
don't have that on. Stick that on like that, and then stick that to that. Working in a tiny area again, always, as always, Dave. Okay. And then just put that on there. That extra bit off. There we go. So that's that. So that's going to be our little card that goes in there. And we can just then have, we could have a word on the front of here, couldn't we? On the front of here, couldn't we? Oh, not in, not in there, we can't. That's fine. Sorry with the accents. Um, enjoy the journey, maybe. Yeah, just a bit. It's because it's a chip. I'm going to make it flatter. Just peel it apart. Ink the edges. Some glue on the back. Slightly sticking over the edge there. Enjoy the journey. There we go. Cool. So that's that one. Okay, let's make this other one. So this is if you're using the envelope tab, not the envelope. Stop saying the envelope, Dave. The tab punch board. Okay, so what I did was I decided where I wanted my um, tab. So what I did was I had it so that it was so this is the crease of the fold okay so i lined the edge of my the punch thing up to the crease and then just punched it out and then i switch switched that round and i did the same on the other side okay and then i got the tab then in the middle okay so again just up to the crease punch flip it over and then up to the edge of the paper punch okay then I took my cutty side which I always get wrong as you know I'm always trying to put the, the blade bit into the channel which isn't right and also don't, don't cut off your um now you've just put that nice um tab on don't cut it don't cut the tab off so Easier said than done, I know. Because I tend to want to go all the way across and then cut them all off. So, so up to there. Then move it up and do this other side. So put that on. Cut that tiny bit off the end there. This all the way up here. And they should kind of meet in the middle. If they don't, well, obviously they don't quite meet in the middle. a little of that off and then I just shape it up with a pair of scissors you gotta shape up because I need you to as my heart is set on perfection you better shape up shut up don't. just stop it nobody wants to hear you murder songs So let's move that because otherwise I'll stick my finger on the bladed end of that. So that's what you do if you've got the tab. I don't believe that. I've just wiped, they've just sweeped that off off onto the floor, which I don't ever do. So <laughs> Okay, so now we've got our tabs that are already integrated tabs now. Again, we're just going to ink it just to emphasize it. So I emphasize the tab to make it slightly different colour to the rest of it so that you can see it and that's just what I'm doing and you do what you want to do and then all the way around 
on the edge of the tabs as well. On the edges of these. Of course you could always tie it. You didn't you don't have to use the, the same fixing that I'm gonna use. You could always tie it up. Um, you know, put some holes through and tie it. You do what you like. Um, and we're gonna get, oh, I don't know where I've just put that shim. Oh, I'm just gonna use this. I cut it from this, so I might as well use this. I'll find the middle. So this one is gonna be slightly different, so I'm gonna use this from the, because this is five and a quarter. So rather than find the middle of that, I'm gonna find the middle of 13, which is in centimeters, which is six. Put that in, in place. Cut from there, round to there, just do that again, and round to there, and then flip it round and do the same again. Find the middle, Dave, first. Right, that's in inches, in centimetres now. Six and a half. fingers out of the way Dave because you don't want to be cutting them off. Today on Dash of Dave we're going to cut our fingers off. No we're not. I'm just going to go over this a bit because it's a bit plain looking. Make it to look a little bit more Mottly a little older. Emphasize the edges a bit. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So, and then again, we're going to make a piece of another piece of card. We're going to make another piece of card. No, we're going to use another piece of card, Dave. We'll use this. Again, we're going to oh, let's take that tiny edge off the top. Four high. Not that out of the way. And we're going to go four and a half wide. There's that. Round off the corners. Worcester moaning in the background. Going to, after I've done this, I'm going to go downstairs and spend some time with the pooch on the sofa, watching some TV, thinking about what on earth I'm going to do for Friday's video. So, <laughs> my my ideas are kind of draining fast. At the moment, trying to keep, I try to get my ideas to be a bit different and original, um, but it's very hard when you're not feeling great. So. Do we have him? Ah, we could. Ah, we could have him. Let's put him on there. Don't know why they have to be birds. Well, because that's what I've got next to me, so that's what they're going to be. So. Just ink round his ed the edge. It just disguises any bits where I haven't cut right up to the the bird. Sometimes I leave a, a border, and other times I don't. So, and sometimes on the same project, I can one part of it I'll have a border, and the other part won't. So, just ink over the scrub brush thing. In fact, I might just give that a bit of a colour, bit of colour. Tinge of green to it, maybe. So if we can get the, the tinge of green. Oh, there we go. Looks more yellow, but never mind. 
less confused by that these days. So put that on there. We'll put oh dear, sure. I'm not kind of like running the risk of like doing the same thing all the time. Same old, same old all the time, probably, but like being typecast as well. Yeah. I'm going to cut it different. I'm going to shape it differently this time. Okay, we'll put that up there. Clue. These bird books, this is what I struggle with, is which one do I cut out when it's a double-sided page? There's like two birds. In fact, that, those beaks line, line up, don't they? Um, I struggle with which, which one do I pick. And sometimes it might not be the bird that I I like the most. It's sometimes it's the easiest bird to cut out because I really don't like fuzzy cutting, so... Let's have a bit of inspiring comment on it. Well, it might not be inspiring, but it'll be a comment. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's make some wonderful memories, maybe. Does that all that go on there? Yeah, let's put that on there. Ink it all the way around. Far away, there's a new bird here to stay. There's this bird, because that's the one I've stuck to the page. I sing a love song as we go along, walking in the winter wonderland. Cut that bit off. <coughs> Sorry if I've just like burst your eardrums and dolphins are now screaming in pain. From Hearing me sing. So, put that in there, pop it in there. It sits in nicely. Do. That's good. Right, okay, what do we have on the front? Because we could have. Oh, are we going, am I going a bit crazy here? <gasps> Might be going a bit crazy. Might put a tiny bird on the front. Well, oh, find the tiny birds there. We're all separate, but. Separate. They were all separate, but they are now all mingled in. Thought he was a tiny one, but he isn't. He's just a, a joint bird. Maybe not him. Oh, where are my birds gone? Where are they? You know what, I'm going to put that one on. <laughs> it made me laugh, so. <laughs> we'll have a, a word or two. Curiosity, maybe. Is that going to be true? Oh, we could always have it hangy over, couldn't we? Yeah, let's go for hangy over. It's too, too thick. Gonna peel it. Just trying to rip it. There we go. Good. Bit of ink around the edge. So you can't tell I've just torn it off a piece of grey board. That's great. Okay, we're gonna ink around him. So it kind of blends in better on the page as well. want to give him a bit more of a defined edge so I'll use I'll just use the darker stuff but just around the edge a 
Oh, I'm starving as well. Need to go and have something to eat. So we're going to put him on there. Yep. Actually, this fits really well with the, him sticking his beak out of the hole because it's curiosity, isn't it? So stick that there. We could have it so that he's the that's the closure on it. So we could do that actually. Maybe we should curiosity. Maybe we should. Should we? Yes, we should. We'll do that. Let, well, we'll do that if these dots go on the back of it. So let's line that up. Okay, so we clear a bit on the thing. Will that fit on there? It will indeed. Let's do that then. Put that on there. Let's do clear this. Over there. So the other thing is you could do is you could obviously put some pockets on them. You could put windows in them. You know, you could put a pocket on the back. Um, you could glue them together. So if you had them like back to back, they were the same size. Um, you could have them back to back, and you could have a pocket in the middle of them or at the side. The world is your oyster. So we're going to have this a bit higher up because we don't want to cover the bird up. So there we go. So there's that. So open it up. There we go. And that's inside. You can obviously have little pockets inside as well. But it's just another little thing to do with that kind of shape of a an index card because we all love an index card. I think we're all a bit obsessed by index cards to be fair. Um, index cards, tags, <laughs> pockets. Well, in fact, we're obsessed by craft, aren't we? Let's face it. So I'm just going to put that back together again so I don't stab myself with anything. Put that back in there so I don't get ink everywhere. Stick that over there. Put that down by my side. The holster that it goes into, clean my Tim Holt scissors, how dare I get these dirty. Looked after them like they were made of platinum when I had them, and now it's like, it's fair game, just stick anything to it, so. <laughs> so anyway, oh, that's what, that's the cover for them, see, don't even put them back in the cover. So There we go, that's it. So, we started with this, and made and I've made that, and I showed you how to make this one, but this is the one with the added tabs, oh, bits of cardboard in there as well. Um, and then this is the one that we've just made together with the integrated tabs. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's something that, oh, stop putting things on the floor. You only have to clean it up, Dave. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's something you might give a go of. Um, don't forget to you know tell me if you do, because like you know I'd be grateful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You know subscribe, do all the good things, share it with a friend if you if if you feel um, so inclined. Um, and thank you very much for spending some time with me. So my name is Dasha Dave, and I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I will see you in the next video. Lots of love, mwah, mwah, mwah. lots of hugs, and I'll see you soon. Take care, folks. See you soon. Bye. Bye.